as you can see, it is uh, the season of horror, which is why we have moment by moment in Windy City on the wall behind us. <laughs> oh, scary! Saul's dying! I'm already a fan of uh, uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street trademark Nintendo game for the reference to the, the, the fact that the logo is a reference to part two, the most underrated of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. And like Friday the 13th, you've probably only seen a couple of them. <laughs> I've seen less of Nightmare on Elm Street. Than Friday the 13th? Yeah. I, I don't think I've actually ever seen any. Well, the beautiful thing about the NES games is uh, for this and Friday the 13th, or really most NES video game adaptations, doesn't really matter. <laughs> You're perfectly safe going into this. I think I might have seen, like, parts of some, but... Um, Nightmare on, just from when I was watching it for the cinema snob. Yeah, but I, it's not because I never wanted to, and it's not uh -huh. like I don't like horror. I don't want to. It's just, I didn't grow up with it. So. You know, we could call Dave and Sarah over here right now and get some four-player action going. I feel like people would like to see that more because I don't. The four I'm of us, uh, the four of us playing this. Well, because I'm not. Like mm -hmm. I said, the four and also. Which is why you're <laughs> perfect for this, Heidi. Yeah, I can't so call this show. Laugh at me. I can't call this show me and Mrs. Jones with me and Dave. Lloyd, that would make <laughs> sense. Lloyd <laughs> is actually surprisingly good at Marble Madness. <laughs> Dave by Dave. Dave, Dave, Dave of the Dead. All right, two. Oh, hurry up, honey! Punch yeah, that me. fucking snake in the face! All right, so we do. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a worm. Remember that part in Nightmare on Elm Street where Rod? I just kind of assume I'm playing as Rod Gosh. from the first Nightmare on Elm Street, where Rod just straight up punched a fucking snake in the face along with his twin brother. So, you're the red one and I'm the blue yeah, one. Yeah, so you're the blue one. People know Brad's actually good at playing games and I'm not. So. <laughs> I actually do really like this game a lot. Uh, I like the Friday the 13th game a lot, too. This one, <laughs> Shit, the, the, the Friday the 13th, see, now we gotta go into these doors that look distinctively like Hershey chocolate bars. I made that joke, you just stole Yes, it. but I said it on camera, which means that I get 100% total credit for so really, it doesn't even matter if uh, <laughs> you're in the dream. Well, it, OK, it does matter if you're in the dream world or not. But according to this game, it kind of sucks either way, because even if you are awake, you're still dealing with like giant spiders and yes. snake. Exactly. See, giant spiders that are like, damn it. <laughs> well, uh, the plus side is, is when you die in this universe, you do go to heaven. Oh, see, we fell asleep again. Oh, so we weren't dreaming? <laughs> you would think so with the giant... <laughs> you would think so with the giant spiders. This, I don't want to live in this world. This kind of shows you that... It's a world that's so stressful that punching spiders and, and snakes and all these monsters in the face is really so boring that you can just kind of fall asleep while you're standing up. The only difference but in this in this game, the only difference between being asleep or being awake is the same scary shit will be there. It's just that... <laughs> it's just that there might be some ghosts and those creepy spiders, they're still there, but they have Freddy's face right now. Damn it. They have Freddy's face right now. Which actually I think that makes it less creepy. <laughs> also, when you're in the when you're in the dream world, this is why I like this game a lot, honestly. Like when you're in the dream world, you can pick up these little tokens that one will turn you into a wizard, one will uh -huh. it, it, it's sort of like Elm Street 3. Uh, like this guy's just throwing out fucking knives Wait, and shit. Wait, where did you get knives from? That little token that I got. And you can also... Uh, <laughs> okay. what? what? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to always follow the leader, honey. Just because I've played this game before doesn't mean I'm good at it. You really shouldn't follow me off a cliff if you see me fall you know, off. You my fighter... <laughs> my fighter flight. Uh, and he mm -hmm. uh, said that I am 
until I kill every dog. Yeah. So much for teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the 8 bit version of the 1 2 Freddy's coming for you song. <laughs> Do you have a preference, even though you've really not seen much of either one? Between yeah, between Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th. I've seen, yeah, like I've sprinkles of it, you know, but. Oh. Um, but I, I prefer, uh, I like the idea of Freddy, because it is creepier to me. Like, if I had to, um, if I had to, like, fight one of them, it would be Jason, because I like sleeping a lot, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Stop it! What is going on? Um, Did you see the sign? Freddy's coming. How do you kill him or hurt him? Oh, you just gotta keep throwing shit at him. So, I don't have anything! The, you can do like in the movies where you just sort of make up a new reason every time for him to, to die. Like, I don't know. I guess in this one we just set his bones on fire. Where do I get that? I don't have to Well, that's because I stole Well, stop stealing the Don't radio. get the radio because that'll wake you up and I'll lose my knives. Um. Oh. No. Try following me in heaven, Freddy. I know you prefer the season. Well, Friday the, the Friday the Thirteenth series is my favorite because they're just consistently fun. Whereas Nightmare on Elm Street, I love the first Nightmare on Elm Street. I think it's a scary fucking movie. The second one I love too. Three's great, and the ra the later ones, you know, they're they're certainly entertaining enough when they get more into comedy. But just sort of on a consistency level of entertainment, I, uh, the Friday the 13th are my favorite. Which one came out first? Oh. Friday the 13th. Okay, that's what I thought. As for the video games, I'm not sure. Uh, the, the, this the, said 89. The, fr the Friday the 13th game, uh, the NES game, I, I played way more than this. But our, uh... Yeah. Our video, our video store had the Friday the 13th game, whereas this one, uh, one or two of them did, uh, but I don't think it was one that I went to a lot, uh, but I, I remember renting this once or twice and really having a lot of fun with it because it's cool when you can become like a wizard and you have these like sort of Mario 2 princess floating powers that you have. Um, princess? In Mario 2, where the princess just Oh, sorry, I, I wasn't listening. <laughs> so I was like, wait, in this game, you can have a princess? Floating. You can be good. Whatever your dreams tell you. If you want to become a princess, this game will make that happen. Well, I was thinking, like, how do you do anything if you don't have tokens? There's, there's sprinkled throughout the game. Well, I mean, like, you well, can become the wizard. But, and... like, me, I don't... I well, can, that's because like, I keep things. stealing them from you. Just punch that rat in the that's face. That's why I was just sitting there the whole time when that... When his arm was coming out. Eh? Get that rat. They've combined nightmare movies. It's a giant rat from Nightmares and Frankenstein's Monster. That'll be the second game we'll play that features Frankenstein's Monster. So would you say Michael is your least favorite? Not your least favorite, but like, I'd, if you had to rank them. Huh. Really, there was just a couple of the Halloween movies that I consistently watched. Like, uh... Um... Are you dead? Oh, hit start. Oh. oh, never mind. Game over for you. Really? You died in your dreams. Oh, that's scary. Oh, it's okay. I'll avenge you. See, I'm not even dreaming, and Frankenstein's monster exists. This is kind of a fucked up universe, regardless if you're asleep or not. You really probably shouldn't go to sleep in this universe. Not that Freddy will kill you, but you'll fall asleep and a giant rat will gnaw you to death, or Frankenstein's monster will come and eat you. It's way too stressful of a universe to live in. Pretty much every NES universe has bats in it. Uh, now, uh, the, the the Halloween movies, I would watch... The first three, I would watch a lot. First one's a classic. Second one is a lot of fun. The third one, I think, is a brilliant Halloween movie. Yeah, you showed me that for the first time. Uh, season of the Witch? Yeah. The third one? Yeah, the Season of the Witch. Oh, I forgot one. Oh, but that was really cool. I like that one. Oh, yeah. That's, that's... It reminded me of Twilight Zone a little bit. Sure, yeah. Or like, you know, 50s sci-fi horror movie. 
like, like a little bit like tiger's eye or not tiger's eye cat's eye oh <laughs> i like cat's eye too but yeah. no like so those three i would it, like four five six when you get into those i wouldn't really throw those on very very much um it's kind of like what I said, like with Friday, Friday the 13th were just always my favorite because you have like just a whole series of movies there where 90% of them are just great slasher movie fun party films, especially three and four. Yeah. Don't worry, honey. We'll have a night where we watch uh, all 12 of them. I guess including the well, fucking so remake. Worried. Yeah, don't worry. It's okay. Relax, well, honey. Seen, I'll show you every single one of them all I've in a single some. day. I've seen some, like the ones that you did on the episode. Uh, on the versus, oh yeah, so on oh, Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. yeah, so I saw the first one, and oh, what are we talking about this? Mm. We're talking about Elm Street. <laughs> oh, we're talking. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. I, I would just rather be talking about Friday the Thirteenth. Oh shit! I hear the music. Just like in the movies where the creepy music would play and then skull bats would come out. You thought it was little girls playing jump rope. It was really a sadder. Wait, look, we need, look, we need some enemies to throw in this game, all right? Every NES game has bats in it. Let's throw those. Okay, as you can hear, time is very much running out here. And uh, I'm going to just fall asleep playing these and Frankenstein's monster is going to kill me. So if you want to see more uh, early episodes of this series and also Brad tries, uh, subscribe to us at patreon.com slash the cinema snob. Also subscribe to us here at youtube.com slash stone productions. See ya. Bye.